people are missing the direct value of their souls. They're not thinking very carefully. They are accepting what the world throws in front of them. And what should be important is God's word and living by his commands and seeking the truth and living by the truth and for the truth and putting their souls on the right course for everlasting life, showing their families what God has waiting for them. In the book of Acts in chapter four, verse 12, Luke wrote, salvation is found in no one else for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Now, in this world, there are those who reveal what they have to offer. What God has prepared for every soul is something far greater than this world. It's something that is more measurable than what this world is revealing. How important is your life? What course is your life on? Do you see God as the Father, as the Creator, as the Judge, and His Son, Jesus Christ? And Jesus Christ as the only path that can save your soul. It's time to look beyond this world. It's time to know how critical it is for everlasting life. I was talking with someone earlier today. We were talking about the fundamental differences between heaven and hell, the permanent separation of God, or from God. And there is no comparison between heaven and hell. The Bible gives us a path. In the Old Testament, in the beginning, when Adam and Eve were in the garden, they had everything that they needed. They were going to live forever. They had, they had all the food they needed. They were free to live in peace and love and rest. No evil. But once they disobeyed God, Sin entered their lives and their lives were forever changed. Now they go through a physical death. Now they go through pain and sufferings. We need to be in the Lord. We need to see this importance. We need to live by his ways. We need to be ready when the Lord returns. In the book of Psalm, chapter 62, verse seven, my salvation and my honor depend on God. Are you depending upon God? So we have people right now, they are depending upon people what are people telling them? And they are accepting these things and situations that are not godly. 
We need to be looking at God's word. And regardless of what someone is saying, if it's not in the Bible, then God didn't command it. That means it's of the devil. It's either God's word or there's nothing. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Where do you find shelter? See, people have rallied behind the shelter of what they thought was the shelter of this world. Where is it getting you right now? How are you living right now? How confident are you in this world right now? Do you want to live in the Lord? Do you want to do you want to be ready for everlasting life? In the book of Psalm in chapter 27, verse 1, the Lord is my light and my salvation. So the Lord is his path, and he's also his savior. Whom shall I fear? There's no one else to fear. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. He has a hold of my life, a strong hold, not a devil's hold, not an unrighteous hold, not an evil hold. Of whom shall I be afraid? So if God is your stronghold, then there is no reason to be afraid. You have everything that you need to function. But so many souls are like newborn babies, as First Peter mentioned in chapter 2, verse 2. Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. We need to stop watching people. We need to seek the Lord in a time is always in this present moment doing, to live for the Lord and never look look back as this world is seeking to destroy your life. God wants you in his kingdom. He doesn't want you looking at this world and the time is right now. <laughs>